Hi friends, it's me, Cindy. Mark 8, 33 through 38 says, But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. First, I see Jesus telling Peter, get behind me, Satan. Why? because Peter had in mind human concerns instead of the concerns of God. Wow, how many times do I do this? And then secondly, Jesus is telling the disciples that they must pick up their cross and follow him. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul, it says. And yet, we are so concerned about this life here on earth our temporary stopping place on our way to our true and everlasting home. I don't think he is saying that we can't enjoy our time here on earth, but that cannot be our primary focus. Our focus needs to be on God and being part of his plan, even if it, is the most, it isn't the most coziest and comfiest of plans. Our motto must be, God's will be done, not ours. And since we too, like when this was being written, live in an adulterous and sinful generation, where being a Christian is not that cool because we are now being portrayed as haters, we need to be ready to be firm and not ashamed of Jesus and his words. It is all or nothing. We've got to be ready because nothing this world has to offer even comes close to what awaits us in heaven.